This game is being streamed by 852FX on iHi.com because of the Verizon 4G LTE hotspot. Thanks to the Verizon wireless connection, 852FX has streaming services where a landline will not reach. Now, 852FX offers streaming broadcasts as well as edited team videos and player profiles. Hey, hello, and welcome to the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium for today's volleyball action. We are in the first round of the seventh region Touchstone Energy All-A Classic. These two teams are playing for a right in the championship game to be played immediately after this game. Our match today is between the KCD Bearcats and the Whitfield Academy Wildcats. It is a, uh, a rematch of the first round match from last year's All-A Classic which was a hard-fought match. The uh, Whitfield won 25-10 and then 25-23. KCD got off to a very slow start and then had one of their best games of the year the second, uh, in the second game of that match last year. Uh, Whitfield Academy was a very talented team that year. Last year's record, 34-3. They advanced to the All-A Energy, the Touchdown Energy All-A Classics uh, State Tournament where they lost to Bishop Rossert, and they also won their district where they lost to Sacred Heart in the Volleyball Regional. Uh, they lost two seniors off that team, and of course we know that KCD lost their six seniors and have a young and growing team, but they have, are on the uh, heels of a three-game winning streak. <laughs> KCD enters the match 4-11. and 11. Whitfield enters the match 5-1. and one. Uh, Whitfield lost their first match of the year, and they have won five straight since. So that was the uh, horn to get us going. We're going to have a quick huddle with the coaches. I think we're going to have national anthem and we're going to have player introductions and then we will be ready to go. Both teams are huddled up around their respective coaches. The coach for the KCD Bearcats is my wife, Chrissy Gandolfo. This is Mike Gandolfo. And uh, Chrissy is in her second year as the head volleyball coach here at volleyball. Her assistant is Jenny Riggs. Whitfield in the dark blue is down there breaking the huddle around their coach, uh, Laura Anderson. And Laura is in her, I believe, fourth season, and uh, either third or fourth season, and she is off to an amazing start. Really got this Whitfield program rolling, and where they are a, a very strong power uh, in all A volleyball. KCD will not play with a libero. Whitfield will. Uh, Whitfield's libero will be number 30, Caitlin Murrow, a 5'4 junior. Both teams are lined up for the ceremonious greeting that they do before volleyball matches. Uh, referee is giving... The down referee is giving the instructions to the line judges. And we'll stay signed for the national anthem.
That national anthem was sung by Caroline Green, the athletic director here, Tim Green. That's his daughter. Very well, very good job that she just did. Announcing the star launch now. First starter for Whitfield Academy, number 24, Meredith Bray. Now number 14, Morgan Longnaker. Number 23, Brittany Brombach. Number 15, Elizabeth Rosendahl. Number 19, Victoria Heitzman. And number four, Krista Giro. And the libero, like I said before, is number 30, Caitlin Murrow. That's the starting line for Whitfield. For the Bearcats, we got out number 12, Jordan Cohen. Number three, Heather Todor. Number eight, Kennedy Hayes. 24, Shelby Hendricks. Number two, Callie Quink, Shelby and Callie, the two seniors on this KC volleyball team. And number 21, Anna Zipone. Again, KC is led by those two seniors, Callie Quink and Shelby Hendricks. Uh, Zipone, the lone junior on the roster, the transfer from Texas. Kennedy Hayes, the freshman setter. And Heather Porto, the outside hitter, sophomore. It appears that KCD has won the serve, which means that we know that Jordan Cohen is stepping to the line to start the serve for the KCD Bearcats. I would say that consistent serving by the Bearcats like they had in their last game is going to be a key to staying competitive in this match, giving them a chance to win. Are we going to miss the play? You're watching a live broadcast on AHA by 852FX. Be ready, fall in, game on. <laughs> 852FX. Be ready, fall in, game on. Wildcats. Serving for Whitfield right now is number 24, Meredith Bray, and the sub that just came into the game was number 16, Alec Peebler. Bray, the setter on this team, she's a junior. Second serve. Try to serve it out. Two to two now. With Heather Tordor coming up to serve for the Bearcats. Heather, a sophomore. Much improved over her freshman year. Can't handle the toss. There's a replay. Serves it. Side out to Whitfield. Going back to serve for the Wildcats. Number 14, Morgan Longnaker. Longacre, a 5'7 senior middle blocker. Serves it off the tape, but still in. Returned by Tordorf. Whitfield has trouble handling it. And cannot get it over. Side out to the Bearcats, 3-3. Three three. Substitution coming in for KCD. Going in to, si to serve. Number nine, Aisha Singh. 
Aisha was very impressive against Wagner in the last match, serving to end the first game and then coming in the second game and serving very well as well. Serves a deep, can't be handled. KCD off to a, a very respectable start, four to three now, as Singh goes for her second serve. You can see the confidence building this group over the last two weeks. Libero hits it over for Whitfield. The clink, clink puts down the kill. Pally clink. Playing that front net very well for the last week. Very good at using her length and timing her jumps. Seeing again for the serve. This hits it. Side out goes to Whitfield. Substitution in the game. Coming back in is setter number eight, Kennedy Hayes. Single going to serve for Hayes, and Hayes will come back in to set. Whitfield served by number 23, Brittany Bromback. KC hits over a free ball deep. A set by Whitfield. Going for the kill, but handled by Tordorf. Bumps it over the net with another free ball. Oh, Callie Klink in the net. Point goes to Whitfield to tie it up at five. Run back with another serve. Serves it wide. Side out to KCD. With, with senior leader number 24, Shelby Hendricks. Three-sport superstar here at KCD, ready to go. Shelby gets a nice deep serve that's handled by the libero. Free ball over and it just drops right in front of the setter, Hayes. Ball goes back to Whitfield's side and we have a substitution entering the game for Whitfield. Number 15, Rosendahl comes back in to serve. Rosendahl with a deep serve handled by Tordorf. He gets the pass to Kennedy Hayes, who double hits the set. Point to Whitfield. Rosendahl with a serve. Again, Tordorf handles it. Shelby Hendricks with the set to Jordan Cohen, who hits it to the back row. Handled by the libero, set for Whitfield. Whitfield looks to get down, but Hayes with the bump. Casey handles it, gets a nice deep corner by Callie Klink. Whitfield with the back row attack. And the ball drops. The libero can attack from the back row as long as she does not attack above the net. Is I believe what the rule is. Whitfield now 8-6. Rosendahl serves again to Tordorf. Tordorf hits it off the top tape and it falls again for another Whitfield point. Tordorf gets it over. Again, Tordorf to Hayes for the set to Cohen. Cohen with the hit. Whitfield handles it. And the tip over at the net by Whitfield's Alley uh, I believe it's Heitzman actually. Heitzman with the tip over at the net. 10-6 now, Whitfield. Rosendahl serves, handled by Shelby Hendricks. And Whitfield's call for reaching over the net, and the point will go to the Bearcats with senior Callie Klink set to serve, down 7-2. to two. Klink serves in the middle. Gets a good hit on the ball, nice deep ball. Handled by the libero. Oh, and Whitfield is, her, is called for a double hit on the set. Clink will get another serve here. Down two. Short serve by Clink. Set made off the tape on the kill. 
Jordan with the set to Shelby Hendricks who hits it deep. Attack handled by KCD. KCD's doing a very good job of handling the attack of Whitfield. It's when Whitfield goes to that short tip. Uh, they're doing a really good job of finding the holes in KCD's defense. Whitfield now up 11 to 8 with Heitzman serving. Heitzman serves it long, just inside the back line for a Woodfield Academy point. Woodfield Academy ace there. Heisman serving from the left side. Thirteen eight now with Bill Heisman again with the serve. Surges the deep row, Cali Clink with a hit. Out of bounds. Point again to Whitfield. 14 8. Coach Gandolfo positioned her girls for a deep serve attack. And Heisman did a good job of dropping in short. We have a timeout, KCD, and I believe we are going to go to a break. We just won state. Turning to action, it's 15 to 8. Whitfield Academy with the serve and the lead. KC had to regroup after a respectable start. It's uh, slipped away from them a little bit here. Looking to regain their composure, hopefully, get Heisman to make a service error here. She serves it to Jordan Cohen. Cohen bumps. KC doing a good job of handling that. Free ball over. Kennedy Hayes to Callie Clink, and Callie can. Not get a good hit on the ball, and uh, 16 to 8 now is the score. Woodfield Academy. Two hits by Jordan Cohen. Point to Whitfield. Short serve, handled by Shelby Hendricks, who gets it over. Set by Whitfield. Here comes the attack. The attack finds a hole. 18 to 8. Now the score. Again, high school volleyball, varsity high school volleyball. We played at 25. Best out of three games in this tournament. Jordan Cohen handles the serve. Kennedy Hayes misses the set. And Whitfield Academy picks up yet another point. Serve handled by Shelby Hendricks, who's set it from Kennedy Hayes, then Jordan Cohen gets it over the net. And we have a double hit again on the set. Casey catches a break. Scores now 19 to nine with Anna Zapone coming to serve. The junior is set. Gets the referee's whistle. She hits it over. Short serve handled by the front row. There's a set by Whitfield. The attack is in Perfectly positioned in the back corner. And we now have the libero serving for Woodfield Academy. Serve mishandled by KCD.
21-9 is now the score by, uh, for the Whitfield Academy League. KCD looking to regroup. <clears throat> Service ace by Murrow. And we're going to have a sub coming in for the game for KCD. In the game will be number five, Sam Laurel. She will go in for senior Callie Klink to play the back row. Serve handled by Anna Zappone. Whitfield on the attack, gets another one down. Great job by Casey handling that hard serve. And the attack goes out of bounds. Side out to KCD, 23 to 10. One full rotation is made, so Jordan Cohen now set to serve for the Bearcats. Jordan gets a serve to the middle of the floor. Woodfield hits over the net and Todor sends it right back. There's a point for the Bearcats. Jordan Cone, just an eighth grader. Serves it deep. The libero, Murrow, cannot handle it for Whitfield. Two straight service points for KCD. That one an ace for Cohen. Cohen serves it back right. And Whitfield Academy executes the bump set spike. Gets a nice hit. We now have game points for the Wildcats. With number 24, Meredith Bray serving. Bray sends it to the back row. Cohen handles it. Hayes tries to jump the set, can't handle. And that's the end of the first game. Woodfield Academy wins 25-12. The teams will switch sides and we will take a break and uh, the second game will be coming shortly. We just won state. Get 40 to 75% off on new and floor model outdoor casual furniture sets. Complete five-piece cast aluminum dining sets are priced as low as $4.99. Outdoor deep seating and wicker groups from $6.99. Get huge savings on beautiful home theater seating groups priced as low as $8.88 during the big summer clearance sale. Only at Watson's. We have all the fun. This game is being streamed by 852FX on iHi.com because of the Verizon 4G LTE hotspot. Thanks to the Verizon wireless connection, 852FX has streaming services where a landline will not reach. Now 852FX offers streaming broadcasts as well as edited team videos and player profiles. broadcast on AHA by 852FX. Be ready, fall in, game on. K 
Casey handles this serve. Hendricks gets it over, but hits it out. 7-3. Timeout. KCD with a score of 7-3 here at the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium and the 7th Region Touchdown Energy All-A Classic. During Watson's Big Summer Clearance Sale, get 40 to 75% off on new and floor model outdoor casual furniture sets. Complete five-piece cast aluminum dining sets are priced as low as $4.99. Outdoor deep seating and wicker groups from $6.99. Get huge savings on beautiful home theater seating groups priced as low as $8.88 during the Big Summer Clearance Sale. Only at Watson's. We have all the fun. And we're back to uh, the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium, 7th Region Touchdown Energy All-A Classic Tournament. Whitfield Academy already has one game in the books, and this is the second game where they lead 7-3. KC had coming off a timeout. Coach Gandolfo trying to break the momentum of the Wildcats <clears throat> and regroup her young KC Bearcat team. Longnaker set to serve for the Wildcats. Capone handles the serve, gets to Hayes. Hayes with the bump set to Tordorf, who gets it over. There's the set for the Wildcats in the attack. Sapone gets a hit on it, but hits it out of bounds. Eight to three, Whitfield. Shelby Hendricks with the set over. Whitfield now with the attack. Hits it deep. Side out to KCD, and we have a substitution for the Wildcats into the game. For Whitfield is number 13, Casey Fisher. Side out now goes to back to Whitfield. Whitfield with a serve, deep serve. Hayes tips it over. And the ball drops on the KCD side for another Whitfield point now 10 to four. Whitfield Academy has a very nice serving touch, and Casey is definitely having a little bit of trouble handling their hard serves with very good placement. The first hit is so important. Serve is off the tape. Jordan Cohen gets it over. Here's the set by Whitfield in the attack. The hit is returned, and Casey E. Now set to serve in Aisha Singh. Coming into the game, two serve for the Bearcat, uh, the Bearcats. Got a little Bearcat, a little Wildcat action. Singh with the serve, serves it deep to the libero. Set by Bray. Blocked by KCD. Here comes another attack. She sets it over, but there's a double hit. Point for the Bearcats, 11-6. Little by little, point by point, KC trying to Eat at the deficit. Singh gets a serve in. There's a set by Bray. Thrown back with a hit. We have a tip at the net that goes out of bounds. And uh, the ball goes back to the Whitfield side. And we have substitutions for both teams re entering the game for Whitfield. Number 15, Rosendahl, who will serve now. And Hayes comes back in for Singh to be the KCD setter. Rosendahl. A 5-2 sophomore. Hits it to the deep middle. Set by Hayes. Hendricks puts it down. Nice dig by Whitfield. And the attack by Whitfield. Back over by Shelby. And the ball hits the antenna for a point for the Wildcats. Rosendahl now serving. Whitfield up 13-6. Rosendahl serves at Toldorf. Toldorf has the ball hit off her hands, out of bounds to the KCD bench. 14-6 Whitfield. Yeah. 
Rosendahl serve this time is short and off the tape and a side out to KCD with number 24, Shelby Hendricks set to serve. Down seven. Hendricks surges to the back row, handled by Whitfield. Free ball coming over, Kordorf. Has the ball hit off her hands, Shelby Hendricks slides, tries to get the ball back up. Can't do it, ball comes back over to this side, the Whitfield Academy for a serve. Number 19, Heisman serving from the left side, a very unusual thing to see. Heisman serves to Cohen, and Cohen is called for a lift. Coach Gandolfo discusses with the down referee. Didn't agree with the call for the lift and wants to know exactly what she did. Seems to be uh, satisfied with what she heard. Heinzman serves back to the throw. We had a little miscommunication between Tordorf and Hendricks. And the ball hits off KC and out of bounds. 17-7 is now the score. Heisman surges to Hendricks. Set by Hayes. Tally Clink with the attack and Winkle handles. And we had another miscommunication by KCD. And Coach Gandolfo calls her second and final timeout of the game. 18 to 7 is the score, Whitfield Academy. And we will be right back. During Watson's Big Summer Clearance Sale, get 40 to 75% off on new and floor model outdoor casual furniture sets. Complete five-piece cast aluminum dining sets are priced as low as $4.99. Outdoor deep seating and wicker groups from $6.99. Get huge savings on beautiful home theater seating groups priced as low as $8.88 during the Big Summer Clearance Sale. Only at Watson's. We have all the fun. And we're back now. Whitfield Heitzman set to serve. Up 18-7. Serves it to the back middle. Off the air conditioner. Hendricks cannot handle it. 19-7 now. Whitfield. Cohen gets it to Hayes. Over by Tordorf. And Callie Clink goes to attack. And we're getting called for a replay. I'm not exactly sure why, but the referee called a replay on Callie Clink's in the net. Serve goes off Tordorf. 20 to 7 now, Whitfield showing their serving prowess. Cohen handles this serve, gets the set back to her, but she can't get the hit over. Hayes, the young setter for KC, shows a lot of promise, but uh, and will definitely improve over the next four years. Coach Gandolfo is not going to be happy with the lack of communication going on with her KCD team right now. Uh, Ball's dropping in between, and both girls is watching it drop. It's not something I know she's going to be very excited about. KCD starting to show a little frustration. It's now 23-7. Woodfield Academy two points away from advancing to the championship game that will be played against Brown, the Brown Bears, immediately following this game. Heights been set to serve. Hendricks handles, Hayes with the set, and Cohen with the attack. Hits it out of bounds. We have match point now for the Whitfield Academy Wildcats. Heinzman gets the sign from Coach Anderson. 
Serves it deep to Cohen. Off the red, air conditioner event, and the ball falls. And that is the match with Whitfield Academy winning 25-12, 25-7. The teams will shake hands, and uh, Whitfield will prepare for the seventh region Touchdown Energy All-A Classic Championship game, and we will return for that game that is scheduled to start at 1130.